Just pray little, little in the spirit. Just join here little in the spirit. The Pata Abranta Pacapaya, the Ateta Tacambra, Manteta Paya. Break through the frontiers, the barriers of weakness. Break through, break through. Apatea, Mantapapa, Kapata Kapamba, and Patapaya. Engage the Holy Ghost. Engage your recreated human spirit. Engage, engage. I Kapa, I Kapa, Papatea. I it's like an engine, it's like a generator. I'm ready Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to join it. I want to trap things in the spirit. I want to, oh my God, I'm Pekka. I'm Petetelia Kapala, Sapa Kapatelia, I'm Pratapada, Mante, I Kapatalia, Pantapada, really to more, Mante Kapianto, a Sombala Tea, Yah, Abadapa, Sai, Apampa, Sai, Apampa, Sai, Apampa, Sai, Adedia, Adedia, Adedia. So, I'm a bamba. So, I'm a bamba. So, Somebody go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, and die. Break through the barriers of tiredness, of weakness, of sleep. You can break through. Apatia, Sabelia, Ambapatakatia, Sabekopatam, Oalia, Oadatelia, Ambra, 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 Sai. Sabenda, I'm recapata, Sabrete, I'm recate, I'm re, I'm recate, I'm re, I'm recate, Sabreta Patan, I'm brown, I'm brown, Sapatata, I, 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 Sai, let your engine roll. Let your roll. 
Something is opening. Amrata Papia, Sabanda Kapa, Abrai, Abrai, Idiantha, Antapoli, Amraka Papoli, Papa, 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 what a die, 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 what a Swai, swai, bye, a car, and the Jesus, Saka, and Pai, Saka, and Pai, and I'm better than you, die. Sati, I'm bad, I'm born. Did you his spirit have met my infirmities? The Holy Ghost have met my weaknesses. The Holy Ghost energizes me. The Holy Ghost begins me. The Holy Ghost makes me alive. The Holy Ghost helps me. I latch on to the Holy Ghost. I latch on, I latch on, I latch on to the power. Power as a mortar. The weakness spirit. Fire me up. Fire me up. Spirit, fire me up. Asai. I'm Patekalia. I'm Rakaba. I'm Papa Kwate. And the Petitor, but the Holy Ghost serpent, the Holy Ghost serpent, I latch up to the spirit that helps me to pray. Help me to pray, Holy Ghost. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me now. And I can, I shut a cup, I cannot stop here. My destiny demands more. Help me, Holy Ghost. I, I did here, I'm Baba, I'm I cannot stop here. No, 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 no. Energize me, energize me, energize me, energize me. Quicken me, 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 quicken me. Apathy, the other, satire, the other, bah. See it, 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 Oh, see, flesh. Hi, oh, Let's ascend for two minutes. Chapter 6. 
as the Lord began to show us through the mouth of his servant, our Father in the Lord, God's Apostle, Apostle Aaron Messiah, that the bounties that God has destined for the one that is found in the kingdom of God has been invested in the spirit. There is only one way to take advantage of that. It is to engage the Holy Spirit. So the Bible began to show us how important it is for a man to be involved in the applicative dimensions of the administration of the purposes of God. Many times informations end on our head and we don't engage the application. And the results that we seek is in the application. We see people with heavy results and impact, but many times we are not willing to pay the same price that they paid. The things that they are saying is not as a result of what they had in their head. Even God himself knows, according as we have begun to learn, that nobody can truly enter into the knowledge of God and of the things of God without experience. It is by experiment, experimental context that we enter into the knowledge of God. So the Bible said in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, that he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come. That means the Holy Spirit comes. What God gives is the Holy Spirit. What you make out of it is your own. The day the Holy Spirit came, every single believer lost any opportunity of giving any excuse for not becoming all that God intends. I began to ask God, what will you have your people here this night? And he says he wants to revive altars. I asked him why. And I began to understand that God cannot bring to pass in any life, in any context, in any territory, more than people has allowed experiences and activities around the altar. And that's why we must learn the word of the altar. For example, as I'm speaking now, somebody following me online might might be trying to sleep. You see, that means you don't know what is sacrifice. And a man that doesn't know what is sacrifice doesn't know. I don't know where you have appeared, but it's not an altar. Once you appear at the altar, you come with a sacrifice. And it is a sacrifice because it is not convenient. It is a sacrifice because it is costing you something. I studied the life of Jesus and I found out that one of his most powerful tools is night vigil, all night. The Bible always says that a great while before day, he will wake up, wake up and begin to pray. When he prays for long, then by 3, 4 a.m., he will begin to walk on water, not because he planned it, but because he need to catch up with the people that, has, that thought that they are moving ahead in life. <laughs> The man that knows how to command the day, nobody is ahead of him. All you need to do is to come to the altar and learn how to put fire there. Put fire. The Holy Spirit help us, helps us to pray. Helps us to make fire at the altar. But you have to partner with him. For example, Somebody can be lying on the bed, one comfortable corner, and is about to pray this our prayer. You are about to sleep off. And that's why you might need to stand up. You might need to stand up so that you'll be able to execute the purposes of God in your life. You might need to wash your face. You might need to walk around. You might need to use speaker, increase the volume, so that it will drown out all the possibilities of distraction. Amen. Leviticus chapter 6. I will just say something as I say it, we'll pray. As I say it, we'll pray. We don't have much time to spend here. And I will trust the Holy Spirit to do something very, very strong. 
I trust him to bring the witness of the burning altar. Men that born. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 9. This is the scripture God showed me many years ago. I have been reading it, but when I read it, something opened up in my heart. It was from there I began to learn that God will never take a man serious until he learns to be consistent at the altar. Any day you come at the altar, just know that the spirits are already waiting for you before you come. There are such engagements and appointments that you cannot afford, afford to miss. The problem is that you can say you are tired, you are weak. Spirits don't understand that. Your destiny doesn't understand it. The demand of God upon your life does not understand that you cannot and that you are weak. All those excuses you are giving is why we are bringing to you the Holy Ghost. Because he is the one that caters for all the infirmities that can be devil a man. So all we need to do is to begin to find different layers, dimensions of the Holy Ghost. Huh? The more demand that is placed on us, the more the Holy Spirit can increase his measure on our life. The Holy Spirit can make a man tarry from night till morning. The Holy Ghost. He can suspend your capacity to be weak. The Bible said 40 days and nights Moses was inside that place. But there is a man that was not Moses. His name was Joshua. Even though Moses was inside, where the glory, the closer you come to the glory, the more time shrinks. The more you don't feel the impact of nature. But, but Joshua was outside at the tent. The same amount of time his master was inside, he was outside waiting. What was sustaining him? People give excuse and that is why we have not been able to shift things. They expect too much from the feeble and weak things that they are doing. They just want God to come. <laughs> may, we, may we ask God to deliver us of pride, spiritual pride, that makes a man think he has done anything. With your small 15 minutes prayer, you want heaven to just come. Why not come? Let's, let's grow. This prayer now is not for anything to happen. It's for God to, to show us mercy and release grace to pray. To, to pray the fire of prayer when it comes. Oh my God. Everything we call prayer points and the things we expect will begin to happen on its own. You will not remember when you prayed about it. It will become a consequence of consistent business of the altar. Prayer points will be dealt with. But if you, if you don't know how to be consistent, you will continue to give excuse and rate yourself as if you are hard. We need to go to God. I think that's what we need to do and ask him, what's your honest opinion about our business of the altar? Are we doing too well? That's when we find out that men that functioned in the old covenant, they were so consistent, according to where I'm going to read, that the Bible said that the fire that burns at the altar must be there all night till the morning. It will not go off. Huh. Oh, Jesus, help me, 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 help me. I told God to reduce the demand. No, there is nothing like the demand will not be reduced. The price will not be reduced. What will happen is that there will be an increase in grace. Mm, something will happen to you this night. This night. And it's important it happens at the beginning of this conference so that you gather the woods and make the fire. You bring the coals that it takes for you to burn incense. Incense ascends by fire. Woo. Incense ascends by fire, by fire, by fire. It ascends 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 by fire. Woo. God will instruct the seraphims and they will come and cast their coals upon your altar and then your incense will catch fire the fire that 
Cast your coals upon my incense. Let it ascend by flames. Let my incense ascend by flames. Let it 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 ascend by flames. I take a parianta, Sakwatea, I take a parantelia, Manta Caporia, Sade, Abraca Pataca Paria, Sopeta Capianta, and Papa, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire, a Sacapatia, a Riante Caparantoria, more fire, more fire. I need to go all night. I need more fire. I need to go further. I need more fire. I'm tired of 10 minutes. I'm tired of 15 minutes. I'm tired of 30 minutes. I need to go further. My destiny demands more. I cannot be lazy. I cannot stop. I cannot give excuses. I cannot be weary. The Holy Ghost has made available all I need. Oh God, cast your cause. Cast your cause. In Jesus. Command Aaron and his sons. This is the rules and the rules of priesthood. It is now that people think it is choice that is optional for men to do the business of the altar. If you are a priest, it is a demand on you. You are fundamentally constructed to respond to the demands of the altar. And the Bible made us to understand in the book of Revelation chapter 5, he said that Jesus Christ our Lord has made us kings and priests unto our Father. This is the default mode of every man that has come into Christ. Your being has been restructured. You are not the man that your parents gave birth to as a result of the new birth and the advent of the Spirit of God within our spirit man. There is something that has been made. A, a new infrastructure has been made available. A new altar has been laid that mirrors the altar that is in heaven. And any time incense is burnt in heaven, God begins to look for men that we align. It is not optional. <laughs> it is not optional. Your heart is supposed to be an altar of incense where God be, God begins to partner with you and begin to burn. Deep things begin to, deep burdens begin to burn. You begin to cook it. Now, for another person, he can just be praying that small, small prayer. But you, you are burning for nations. <laughs> you can't be doing, the way you will pray is dependent on where you are going. God appeared to you in the visions and said, I will make you a voice unto nations. And you are sleeping, you are comfortable praying normal prayer and being a normal person. No. No. It's like an aeroplane that wants to land on an airport. And I found out that there are certain airports that cannot carry some kind of cargoes. Cargoes from the realm of the spirit. Priesthood is what it takes to ferry things from the realm of the spirit to this physical realm. So it doesn't matter what God said. It doesn't matter the promises in the scripture. It doesn't matter the prophecies. Even the testimony, the commandment that Paul gave his son, Timothy. He said, concerning the prophecies that has gone ahead on your life, don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on the prophecies. Don't sleep. There is no time. Help me. Jesus. Help me, 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 help me. For every destiny, there is a price to pay. You want God to come mightily, then you might need to go to, to, to the altar and do serious business. Listen to me. Command Aaron and his sons, saying, 
this is the law I traveled outside Nigeria I I jumped up and then came down that's when I found out and confirmed because I've heard but I needed to confirm whether gravity <laughs> whether gravity is functional outside Nigeria and I found out that I jumped up and what came down that's when I found out that if a matter is a law it is consistent in every scenario for men ought always to pray and not to faint it is a law hmm? this man is trying to teach the high priest and his children the laws that govern their office the laws that govern the life that they have been brought into the life of god coming into the heart of a man is fundamentally organic and that means that for a man to take advantage of what is encoded in that life, he has to experiment it. He has to engage it. If you don't engage that life, the things that is within cannot come out. And the Bible said that the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus has delivered or set us free from the law of sin and death. Huh? Just because I jumped up and came down doesn't mean that a man can't fly on an aircraft. And as long as there is aviation fuel, in your aircraft you can perpetually stay on air so just because gravity is still a law there is another higher law that operates so the bible is trying to tell us that when we engage the spirit of the life is there but we need to engage it huh? sometimes i personally i wake up in the night and my eyes will close i will say no i have an appointment with jesus that i cannot disappoint i have an appointment i Try to open my eye, he refused. I say, you spirit of slumber, I bind you. Sleep is not the same thing as slumber. How can a man, God has already told you 21 days, I will come. And on the 19th day, the sleep is holding you as if you are about to die. It's your destiny that is about to be mortgaged. You, you have to fight it as war. Hmm? It's either you enter now or you enter another five years. The window that opens comes every seven years, every three years. Every six months, you are bound to miss another side. All you need to do is to come to the altar. Even if it's not working, sometimes for two hours, I'll be saying, Holy Ghost, I will not go. I will not go until I ascend. I will not go. I keep, I keep praying. I keep pressing. I keep pushing my spirit. Pushing it. Pushing it. Christ in me, the hope of glory. The hope. The hope. It means that when Christ was installed as a facility inside of me, God knew that if I engage the Christ in me, all the shades, all the dimensions, colors of glory that is encoded in Christ will begin to manifest. According to the book of 1 Corinthians, he said, Christ, the wisdom of God, Christ, the power of God, scientific Christ in me. But I need to engage. I need to engage. I need to put the Christ in me under pressure. When I put it under pressure, some things begin to manifest. It begins to burn like fire this is the law of the burnt offering the only reason why it's a law is because fire burns and never goes off all this one you are on today you are off today you don't know it. You, you are not serious yet Today you wake up, tomorrow you don't wake up. You pray 15 minutes, today you pray 20 minutes, tomorrow. That's why nothing has shifted. If they ask you, do you have a prayer life? You quickly say yes. Oh God, be humble. Be humble so that God can help you. <laughs> if you are not humble, God can't help you. He doesn't know you. You are already like this. And he, he looks at you, he doesn't see where to help. You are already assuming that you are doing something. Meanwhile, the demand on your life is different from what you are supplying. Stop looking at your neighbor. Look at yourself. Stop looking at somebody praying 15 minutes. You don't know where he's going. He might just be stopping at 50 poles from where you are. But you, you are joining to the ends of the earth. Huh? I need to fill my vessel. Oh. Help me, help me, help me, help me. 
help me, help me. Let it expand. Let it expand. Let it expand. Let it expand. 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 So the pakaparian de la sosa. Greka patapandeli. Si yo kataba. Ia kaparian talapari. Pray for one more minute. Sabarianta kapelande, abra kapapa yanta la pakate. Wadeya, wadeya, akapate niante debe takapa. Misamra tapapa takapondo. Enlarge my vessel. Akapeta yante letoni. Zai, zai, zai. Abete kapaganda, abra kapapa pakamba. I will not stop here. No, no, no. There is more. There is more. There is more. There is more, there is more, there is more. I'm body, the Sakaboria, I'm Retapa Pantari, the Swapa Pari, I'm Betia Takapata, Matapa Palakai, the Palakai, I'm Betty, I'm Betty, I'm Betty, I'm Betty, the Yakapa, I'm Ratan, Sobeti Patio, I'm Retapa Kambe, I'm Retapa Papa, Manta Prata Pata Kapeli, I am. The fire is coming. <laughs> Jesus, send your fire. Saka Aha. Aha. Oh my God! The fire is coming! The fire is coming! Seek up and tell ya! Iampala! Aikoparia! Sita Kapalata! Ambrata! Sakaparia! Ambrata Papa! Ambrata! There is a fresh baptism is coming. A fresh baptism is coming upon your life. Just engage a little. Aha! Clergy! Sai, apate, apate, apapon, apapon, sai. Smith, help me. Fire is coming. 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 Sake. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, if you give us fire, we will rescue a generation. If you give us fire on our altar, we will stay, we will tarry until a generation is redeemed and saved. Aha, Fire, 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 
house of the living God are here. They came with fire. 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 See a pataka pala. We will never be the same. We've taught your voice to our life. We will never be the same. We've taught your voice to our life. There are 17 of us. The hand of God is coming. Jesus. Angels of the living God move to families, houses, hostels, hotels, continents, nations, everywhere. There is no distance in the spirit. We colonize every environment under the auspices of the spirit let his glory and presence come and let his fresh baptism come let the angels cast these coals let them cast the 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 coals <laughs> oh my God, he's falling. In Jesus' name, listen. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to show you one more thing. And then we pray one more time. I, I, feel, I feel fire. I feel so much fire is, is making me sick, a little sick. 
so much fire so much fire i pray that the lord will allow you to partake of what he's doing now you will receive a shift some of you after this short while we are going to spend online you will try to sleep you cannot you will pray till daybreak and i will need to tell you if the holy spirit has not released you don't stop that's your breakthrough knocking on the door Mm. Matalata, Ikata. Coast, 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 coast. Coast. I bring a witness of the burning altar. My God, angels are serving men, hot liquid. When you drink of this hot wine, it will recalibrate your taste board in the spirit. God will give you new tongues, new wells and rivers will open up in your belly. Jesus. We were praying like this many years ago. And in the midnight, an angel appeared to us. It was letter, letter. God began to teach me the ministry of that angel. The angel suspended between heaven and earth. And he was carrying a pot, a pot filled with fire. And he asked us a question and he said, should I break this pot in your midst? We said, break it. When he broke it in our midst, people prayed non-stop for three days. They forget, they forgot to go to work, forgot to eat. The reason why you beg people come to church, don't eat fast, is because they have not drank something. There is something you will drink. You wake up and be angry with too much eat. You are not forcing yourself. Huh? Hi! There is something you drink. You lose taste of the things that are mundane and natural. It's a liquid from heaven. Huh? That's how God woos men into the secret place. He allows you to taste of the wine that is spiritual. If they give you any other thing, it will not make sense to you. Until you meet up with the demand of that hunger and taste inside of you, you are not going to stop. It is wooing you. It is drawing you. Drawing you. Wooing you. Wooing you. Before you know, you one hour past, two past, three past, four past, five, six. People will be saying you are praying too much. You are not seeing it as praying too much. You are being wooed to the place of the altar. People will tell you, are you not seeing you are getting weak and tired and sick? The fasting and prayer is too much. You, they are not seeing what you are seeing. You are being burdened by the brokers from heaven. God just breathed on your heart. <laughs> the same burden that he had. And you began to shake with it. In an attempt to discharge the body in five hours past, 20, 20 past, 12, 10, you are not forcing it. I pray to God this night that the angels will move around everywhere, far near, and baptize men. Bring a new baptism. Let it fall on them. Let it fall on them. Let it come on them. When the fire falls, uncompleted building becomes prayer altars. Under the step becomes prayer altars. On the road becomes prayer altars. Anywhere you are, you are praying. 
Even where you are walking, you will use face marks and cover your face and continue you cannot be stopped because you have drank something you have drank something and your altar has come alive your altar has come alive suddenly you began to live any man his altar is not on fire is not yet living when your altar comes on fire you begin to live Listen to me, listen. He said that the fire shall be burning there all night till the morning. It shall not go off. It means there is a possibility of the light, go, the fire going off. The fire. How will an incense rise without fire? Uh -uh. Because it was an encounter. And the Lord told me that these are the men that cast fire upon altars I said what is this my life changed from that day it was after that encounter I began to pray by the energy and baptism that came from that encounter and suddenly when I prayed for long I will start in the morning pray in the night I will come I did it for long suddenly one day it seemed as if I was clothed like this my jacket now the fire of God came on me like this my God. I just began to feel the same thing I felt those days. I just began to feel it. I just began to feel it. It burned so much that I thought my body will fall off. I thought my heart. Ay. I used to think it's a hard thing to to stay in the place of prayer. I used to think it's impossible until the Holy Ghost revealed the dimension of the burning altar to me. Huh? Prayer going on non-stop. Non-stop. My fire will not go off. A generation depends on my fire. Oh my God, oh my God. I can't stop now, I can't. I have come too far to stop. I've come too far to stop. Sida <laughs> In Jesus, mighty name. Two thousand and twelve. I was in a pastor's meeting. It was an all-night meeting. We started by ten and began to pray. We prayed and prayed and prayed. Things were happening. Things were happening. Things were happening. We prayed till 4 a.m. in the morning. Everybody was tired. I, I was tired. So when I, I was looking for one corner to go and rest my head and sleep. Because that is the demand of the flesh. You will never touch something tangible in God until you go beyond the limitations of the flesh. And break into the powers that is divine. There are powers. When he holds up a man, you will look at him and find out that this is not the man that you greeted outside of. That divine possibilities is flowing through his vessel. That it is possible for a man to be possessed by divine essence. Huh? You can stay at the altar. One hour I will be passing. 
Like I saw one lady one day. The young lady just bent like this. Huh? Bent like that for one hour, 30 minutes. She did not move. You can't do it. It takes, it takes spirit power. <laughs> you will, that's why I'm telling you this is so. We cry. This prayer is not the end of the prayer. It is the mother of all prayers. Because the prayer of altars, burning altars, is because the business that we do around the altars helps other ones to begin to walk. An altar that is not of, there is no hope. There is no hope. There is no hope if altars are not burning. They are not burning. We are, our teaching will end in the head. We will come back another day to learn the same thing we learned before because the ones, the ones we learned is not practicable. We have not entered experimental into it. We are just talking things that have not become part of us. We need to become priests of God. Spirit power. Spirit power. Spirit power. Spirit power. Listen to me. By that 4 a.m., that is when I knew that if a man wants to lay hold on something heavy in God, God will wait to see how much you want it. Do you know that some of the things you are asking God, there are a million people that are asking it and it's open check for everybody. You just wait for 10 minutes and go and sleep. Huh? Others are wasting under God by divine grace and you want to end up the same place. I'm not saying people that are praying and miss or doing the wrong thing. I'm saying the people doing the right thing. Eh? They are wasting under, under the auspices, the cloud of divine presence. They are wasting. They are wasting. You look at them, you know this young lady is wasting. It's either God comes for her or her life has wasted. Hi. Such men, the way God comes in a, is, is a tremendous way. I was so tired. But suddenly... Around 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Clergy. I felt a hand tap me. And when the hand tapped me, I heard a voice. And the voice said, give me two more hours. <laughs> that, was when I, that two hours is like, they are telling me go and die. Because it, it was equal to death. There is no way I can offer two more hours. There is no way. There is, but my destiny depends on that two hours. There are certain one hour and two hours in your life you cannot joke with. If you joke with it, you lose another one. You lose the Kairos season that has matured. And God wants to smuggle something. Wants to bring you to the realm of experience. You will miss that Kairos. You might need to build again and come to that point. Huh? So when he said, give me two hours. Two hours. That was the season I was fasting. And God said, give me that two hours. Hi. I knew it was God. I said, Holy Spirit, if you don't help me, I cannot. I stepped out. It was not step out. I staggered. I staggered to the place of prayer. I staggered. But I still went. If it, if it will take you to stagger into the... Stagger there. I staggered there. I said, Balata, Sikabe, Ivala, Barakete, Imababa, Ateli, Sapataya. You know my frame. How weak and frail I am. I need your help now. Help me. Abarakatina. Even it teti karabata. Abarakambo titi tia kasa sante pete kamba. Uapata kapabali ataba kana. Ataba ataba. Help your son. 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 Ateti kapata. The son. This the horse has come to the river. Abeni akapa. We have come to betting. There is no strength. The season have matured. There is no strength. There is no strength to bet. I need to travel. I need to grow. I need to bet things in the spirit. But there is no strength. Help me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Up here. Up here. The pregnancy has matured. The pregnancy has matured. He has matured. He 
Kitas Mato Saka Periatama Ambreko Paraha Satante Iriata Yapele Kapana Ambreto Parande Kate Sakata Kapanante Aparianta Kapakapa Wata Pakapande Zibra Kata Kapanate Zibra Kapata Kapanate Ambra Kapapena Kapatianta Apara Pala Papata Kapala Sepete Kapapanda Ambre Tepete Kapanya Sai Ababam Ababam Ididia Pambo Awapa Pababam in Jesus mighty the greatest demand on our generation is to pray I asked God is there any other thing he said pray first pray first when you pray first then other things will now follow follow pray first and God will do something this night. You don't know what is happening to you now. You don't know what is happening to you. I speak from the office of my calling. Men are going to be drunk with the spirit of prayer. They, they will pray non-stop. The cause of revival will burn in their heart unquenchable burden and hunger driving them consistently to the place of prayer day after day, week after week hour after hour they will be there, they tarry, they tarry they tarry, they tarry, they tarry they tarry Sakapenia Vredai le Kapota Satan Father I pray all over the place that people are following us from I ask, oh God, let there be a mighty move of the Spirit. Let there be a mighty baptism of burden. Let there be a mighty baptism of hunger. Let there be a mighty baptism of fire, of fire, of fire. Let altars burn. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. 